Hey guys, this is Mr. Grimms, and welcome back to the next part, I believe part four. Uh, yeah, uh, we finally found our new monster, and I don't like how he looks like. He's scary. We're supposed to find a piece of the orb that's hidden somewhere in the cellar, and he's patrolling the entire area, so this is proven to be a difficult task. We're gonna try again. We don't have much oil. Yeah, where we left off, we, have, we don't have much at all. Now he's in this room. Okay, there he is. Now, from what I remember, I haven't gone in that portion of the room. Ugh, I really don't like how he sounds. He's scary. Okay, let's just keep going. Going the right way. Ah, I haven't been in here before. All right, okay. Oh, what? Oh, what is it? Oh, thank you. Barrel containing full oil. Thank you so much. Oh, that's just a beautiful sight right there. Okay. Is he still here? Oh, there he is. He looks so gross. Oh my god, he's naked. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't want to make noise. Is there. Ah, anything in here? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, I need. Go ahead, time to get out of here. I have a feeling he's kind of running or walking in circles in this room. Oh, there he is. Okay. Is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he didn't see me, did he? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, he's good. Maybe I can just make a run for it at this moment. All right, stairs. I remember where these were. Door. Exit! Oh. The address of the library wasn't far, but it started storming on my way. I constantly looked over my shoulder, but nothing seemed to be following me. Even so, I ran and ran all the way across London, never stopped. Even when the cold rain and exhaustion made my legs scream in pain, Charles Longden. Oh. That was nerve-wracking. Okay, well, they're running in the rain. Chapter 3! Ooh, beginning of chapter 3. Awesome. Oh man, okay, so I'm beat. I'm definitely beat. I am most likely cold. I still have oil. What was that? I thought I saw something over there. Like a person standing. And I don't like it. Uh, let's... Oh, okay. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, that's locked. I was just kind of curious about that room. Okay. Well, wherever the heck I ran to, this is obviously not, not a safe environment either. Okay, I have two ways. I guess we could check these rooms. Maybe restock on tinderboxes. Oh, I sound like somebody's over there. Let's get this out of the way. Anywho, and it's Nexus. It was an association of personal friends. Hartlib and Dury were the two figures. Common, Commonius, despite their best efforts, always remained a cause. They were supporting rather than a fellow coordinator. Around them were Hubner, Hack, Pell, Morian, Ruiz, Houghton, and Apelius, later to be joined by Saller, Culpepper, Worsley, Boyle, and Claudius. But as soon as one looks any further from the center, the lines of the communication begin to branch and cross. Okay, so I guess it's part of the uh, Book of Hartlip's Castle. All right, it's definitely. I don't like listening to creaking chairs. Sounds like somebody's here, and I don't like it. Just push over there. Oh, uh, oh, yes, tinderbox. Okay, let's get out of here. Now we gotta. 
Oh, I don't like that one bit. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, it's not safe here either. Oh. Oh, sweet. Okay, now I'm, I'm feeling really good on oil now. Right, oh, and tinder boxes as well. Come out, don't be shy. Um, <clears throat> already had a full uh, la um, lanterns. Is, my lantern is full on oil because I managed to find one of those uh, refilling stations. And mm, seems like nothing's in here. Unless I'm missing something around here. I guess. Oh, wait a sec. Hartlip died on 1662 in poverty. Close friends reported that he had lost his pension and severed contact with many of his correspondents. No official funeral was held. No body was buried. He was never married. No children. And his stuff was put on for auction. Well, that sucks. He kind of died lonely. That must not be a good feeling. Oh, that's locked. Okay, time to go back. All right. So, I guess we learned a little bit about Heartlib, that he was a lonely sucker and just died all by himself. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Long hallways. I don't like. I don't like long hallways. Oh, you bastard! Who put two stacks books nowadays like that? Oh, well, it is the 1600s, I suppose. Right, let's go ahead and... Oh, you. You'd think that wouldn't be scary, but an amnesia is, is always scary. Alright, what do we have in here? I hear noises, but I don't see them. Oh, man. Okay, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, but it's locked, but it's very. Rusty and weak. Okay, maybe we can finally use... Ah! Perfect. Let's go ahead and open that up. Finally, we found a use for that. Uh, please don't be in here. Don't anything. Books. Okay. Well, just in case I need to hide in here, I got some room at least. Okay, well, it seems like this table is... Uh, to the other side. How many tinder boxes? I have eight. Okay, well, let's just use one just for the hell of it. It'd be nice to have it in this room just in case anything. It pains me to seal the clock so soon after its completion, but I had no choice. I thought I had to escape from the college, but I should have known it was only a matter of time until they found me. I was forced to use all of my alcahest to fight the monsters off. Alcahest? Searing their flesh, leaving none left to carry out my plan. I knew the monsters would return to break into the vault below, but I had no choice but to seal it. I also dressed one of the dead monsters in my clothes and hacked it to pieces it may not be enough to fool them but there's little else i can do even if by chance they break through my barriers i thankfully have other means of defenses defense my guardians are not all powerful but they should slow the monster's progress samuel wow this guy went to the point of actually wearing their body parts that is ridiculous dedication okay well something has tried to break in okay well I'm guessing the uh, that was the uh, on the other side I suppose I think it's time to get out of here but I'm not sure exactly where to go from here I didn't find a key of any sorts nothing <clears throat> oh well maybe in here no well, hey, weren't these books? Yeah, I, I kind of figured that those books were already, uh, I'm pretty sure they already fell when I entered the room. This game is trying to mindfuck me. And I don't like it. Okay, well, I went all the way there and there was no key. There was nothing of special sorts so I'm going back to where I was over here and it was locked I believe yes it was locked I have no key just another piece of the orb hmm I wonder where I'm supposed to go next oh, 
find out. I'm just kind of preparing myself for the worst right now. Not sure why I had to go all the way towards that end of the room and only picked up a note. Uh, that still doesn't open. Okay. I must be missing something. Let's give another check. I probably didn't check the last rooms uh, thoroughly. Why does everything have to be so scary in London? I don't want to go there. I wanted to go there, but now I don't want anymore. Okay, well, this is the place where, uh... Well, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It's not like I can rip this open. Let me check here one more time. Uh... Nothing there, nothing there. I picked up the note. Nothing. Ah! There's a key! I knew I missed something. That's what you get, folks, when you don't check these rooms very well. Stay open! Okay, let's get this. Alright, well, it seems like nobody was mad when I did that. Alright, I think we're go I think we're golden. How do we how are we doing? Okay, halfway. We got two oils. We're good. We're good. We're awesome. I think we can finally make our way towards the end of this hallway. I'm forgetting that key. I knew I should have checked thoroughly. And I didn't. Alright, let's do this. Hello? Anybody home? I'm just kind of moving down here. I see another book. Sucks I don't see any candles. Alright. Scholars are divided on the origin of these practitioners. Few materials survive from the early centuries. Their rituals concentrate on sacred, sacred religious icons. Okay! <clears throat> now that can't be all of it, could it? I'm not sure. Sometimes if you don't have your light off and you're looking at, you know, some some areas that items might be, they'll just light right up. It's actually harder to see with uh, the lantern on. That's how I solved a couple of puzzles in the uh, regular Amnesia game. You can just see it light up in front of you. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well... That was two areas that were kind of dead ends. Um, let me just make sure. Ah! Alright, well, that's nothing of the of any interest there. That wasn't me, was it? Uh, okay. Hmm. Apparently, something they threw a book right back at me. Anywho. Anything else in here that I maybe and now maybe there's a book that I'm missing around here that I can't progress any further unless I find it. Uh let's see. Sometimes you have to trigger a bunch of events in order to have something happen and then you can finally progress in the game itself. But in this instance I'm not quite sure. I found a key and I unlocked it. Oh, do I still have it? No I don't. Hmm. Well, that only means that I still haven't checked the rooms thoroughly enough again, yet again. So let's go back to that room that we uh, unlocked and check what's inside. All right, so there has to be something here that I am missing. I don't know what that might be. But... Not sure. Oh, man. What could I be missing here? What? Am I... There has to be, like, some kind of... Clue or, or something. Let's take a look. Okay, well, that's from previous, but... Oh, man. 
I am not sure. I hope I'm not stuck again, because that would suck. That would really suck. And I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, never mind. Huh? Wait. There's something here that I can push or pull? Why would my hand be on here? Oh, uh, well, there has to be- Oh! Wait a sec. Why can I... Maybe if I- Ugh, Come on! Ah! Why is this wobbly? Why is this wobbly? You almost there. Almost. Come on, drop. God damn it. Ah, oh, man. Oh, wait a sec. I see something back there. Okay, maybe I just gotta pull this aside or something. I'm not sure what's here. Maybe we gotta get some books off first. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Maybe that'll. No? Okay. Too much weight. Way too much weight. Out of there. I know, like books. Get out. Ugh. Okay. Oh man, I'm I'm definitely pushing it aside, but I'm. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure why. I'm struggling so hard just to push this bookcase here. I can kind of. Oh, there we go. Timber. All right. So. Definitely gonna have to break through this. But uh, I guess I am totally out of time here. But when we come back, we're gonna totally explore this place and see what secrets lie ahead. It doesn't look too promising back there. When I mean not when I mean not too promising, I mean it looks pretty damn scary. So, anywho, as always, thank you so much for watching. This is Mr. Grimms. As always, if you guys wanna try to uh, try this out for yourselves, the description is down below. My cam has died on me, and this is why you do not see my face. But it is okay. We'll be back next time. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.